Good morning, church. <clears throat> so uh, our merger prayer, uh, we're, we're continuing. This is still week one, uh, day three. So uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm following along in the in the guide, the prayer guide. Uh, if you have a copy, uh, if you haven't, you can get one from our website on the uh, the merger, vital merger. Just search for vital merger and you'll find it. Day three is to pray for the merger team, and the text is from Matthew six ten. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is our desire that His will would be done. The merger team has a monumental task ahead of them. They must listen to God and make decisions that they believe are best for the church. They will be responsible for the direction that the new church moves. So we are uh, going to pray for these folks by name. Uh, we're going to pray that they would be open to God and, and willing to make difficult decisions. Uh, and we're going to pray that they would not be swayed by their personal opinion. Um uh, either of their own or of individuals in their churches, but they would do what God was calling them to. So our merger team is made up of, of Debbie Nelson, and Andrea Edwards, and Glenda Kendall, or Glenda Diker from uh, ROM, Dickie Porter, Andy Glenn, and Debbie Bergen from Rock Hall, and Marietta Reedy, Artie Kendall, and Elizabeth Greenwell from Wesley Chapel. Would you pray with me? God, we lift to you these nine folks, and we ask you to just impart your, your a spirit of your spirit within them, God, to fill them today. Fill them every day, God, especially when as they seek to make decisions for for our churches. As they seek to resolve problems and issues and just to work through this whole process, Lord. We know it's not going to be easy. But these folks have said Yes, I am willing to labor. So, Lord, I, th I thank you for that. I ask you, God, that you would give them a, a special awareness of your direction, your leadership, your guidance, God. Give them boldness and courage to, to push against, to push against uh, their own personal opinions, God, and to seek your face, to seek you. And, and, Lord, when they hear from you, God, to be bold enough and confident enough to follow you. Open them up, God, to making hard decisions, but being committed to those decisions. That they would not, uh, that they would not do things out of uh, fear but out of a confidence, out of a hope, out of a, a sense of call that you have for our community, for our churches, here in Rock Hall. Lord God, I ask you to bless them. Make them aware of your presence. Show them your presence in their lives. Even today. Draw them close to you, God. Draw all of us close to you, Lord. But let us look to them as individuals who have heard the voice of God. We love you, God. And we thank you for what you're doing in our churches. And we look forward to what you're going to do in the future. God, you have done so much. You have blessed us in so many ways. We know, without a doubt, that you have blessings in store for us in the future. We want to fall, live into that, God. We want to be used by you. We want to see you glorified, you to be made much of here in our community. Let it start with us, God. We love you and we praise you. Amen. Amen, you all. Have a great day. Uh, we will see you soon. All right. Love you. Thanks. Keep praying for this process. It's, it's just starting. All right. Love you. Bye.